www.lawmanguitars.com. What in the world is this guitar? Check it out. This is a 1955 Harmony H88 Stratotone doublet. Now, you probably may be familiar with the H44s. Now, the H44 Stratotones are usually copper, okay? Now it's starting to sound a little familiar, and they have one pickup where this one sits, and it isn't nearly as fancy as this single coil is here. The doublet has two pickups, stack knobs, and otherwise is pretty much the same as the H44. Same necks, same heads, uh, same uh, uh, logos even on it. The difference is the configuration of the two pickups and mostly the color. I think there were maybe some, uh, some black uh, H44s. I don't remember many. Just about all the ones I'd ever seen were copper. Now, this guitar, uh, uh, this particular uh, guitar, we cannot date. We tried really hard to find some dates anywhere, and unfortunately the stacked uh, uh, pots in here did not have any dates on them. So they made the doublet guitar from 1944 through 1957. So it could be a 1954, it could be a 1955, 56, 57. It's one of those years, okay? We know it's not any uh, uh, older or newer than 54 to 57, okay? Now, these guitars, uh, uh, this particular guitar is all original. Uh, the only thing I could find that was not original is this uh, uh, input jack cover. I'm guessing that the old one got broken and they put uh, a nice little black and white uh, stacked one on here, which, you know, if you didn't know, you would probably think it was original. I just want to point out that it doesn't look original to me. Uh, I'm going to say that is not original. From there, original pickups, original pick guard, uh, the top hat, uh, selector switch uh, a tip would be correct. Stack knobs, if you're missing one of those, I mean, try to find it. I mean, impossible. Those are on here. The cool pickups on here with the little blade on it. Uh, I believe these are pretty much uh, the Hershey bar pickup like they used on the H44s, but with a little different cosmetic. That is my guess. Uh, same tailpiece as H44. The uh, uh, configuration of the bridge is slightly different. They look a lot alike. I thought this one was the same bridge, but because of how the pick guard comes in, they made it just slightly different. It's a little stockier, okay? Other than that, it looks a lot like uh, the old ones. From there, necks are the same, uh, the tuners are the same, uh, everything else, the body is the same. Uh, and uh, these are just really, really cool. I've had one other doublet a long time ago. It had to be 20 years ago when I had one of these, and I just loved it. And it sold right away, and I was like, ah. Oh. And then when I found this one, it's like, oh man, I gotta have this guitar. So grabbed it. The only thing uh, that I want to point out is uh, it does have a crack. Uh, it was cracked down here. Obviously, someone banged it right in here. It's hollow under here, of course, where your uh, 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 input and uh, output uh, jack and all the uh, uh, knobs and everything, uh, all those wiring goes down into here. And someone must have banged it kind of hard because it got cracked in here. And uh, I had our tech go over it. He reinforced it even more so. And uh, it should be fine. I will tell you, though, if you're going to gig this guitar, uh, uh, aggressively, I would say take this pick guard off, have a repo made of it, and replace it because uh, this, I, I would hate to have you break this and have it be unrepairable. Right now it's repaired, it's repaired well, but I just want to point out that this would be an area that I would be concerned about if you're going to gig it night after night after night, okay? Now, how's this guitar sound? I mean, they're just, these pickups are you know, really kind of hard to describe. I mean, they're kind of dark, you know, I, I would say. <laughs> I'm on the neck pickup here. Mm-hmm. 
that's a nice sound to pick up. Let's let's put it with the uh, back one also. Very mid rangey now. I'll tell you, these stack knobs do work. That's volume, taking all the front out. And then you've got your tone. So all that works, which I'm happy to report. I'm on the back now. Let's talk about the neck. Uh, you can tell I'm used to playing a much smaller neck. <laughs> the neck is, uh, it's a 25 inch uh, scale neck, okay? Uh, but it has a one and three quarter inch nut, which, you know, is not that wide. I mean, it's wider than a, a one and five eighths or, or, or a one eleven sixteenths. However, the thickness is what a lot of guys love about these necks. It's a big C neck. Uh, if you've heard the, the uh, uh, description of a baseball bat neck. I would say this is very baseball bat-ish, okay? Uh, it's a really big full neck and uh, it really takes some getting used to for me to play this guitar all the time. The big-handed guys, they're gonna love this guitar and uh, I'll tell you what, it will really respond in the right hands. A lot of guys I've seen use these for slide as well. They'll raise the action up on it. Uh slide on these guitars, they're ridiculous. I mean, it just sounds so, so good. Uh, so it's just, it's a blues monster, I gotta tell you. say. Now, that's really cool that we've got this doublet guitar. However, would you like to see the original case with this guitar? I know I would, and look what we got for you. When I saw this case, I went, oh no, they sent me a lap steel guitar. It looks like a lap steel case. And I thought, there's no way. Well, I open it up, and the guitar fits in here perfectly. It's absolutely the correct case for it. I saw another one of these out there and it had the same case, so I was real happy to see that because I'd never seen an original case for these guitars. Uh, Brown Tolex, it certainly is a harmony looking case. I gotta say though, what an awesome case. It's got a Bakelite a plastic handle that's still here. Look at these latches. They actually still hop. <laughs> Those they never hop from the 50s. Are you kidding me? This is unbelievable. The middle latch is still here. You open it up, and it's got nice brown plush interior. These two accessory boxes here did not have covers on them. They actually hold the top. Uh, they're a little uh, proud of the lower uh, portion of the case, so it holds the top from collapsing down. So it gives it some reinforcement in here. But the body fits in here perfectly. It's got a nice neck uh, uh, helper for, uh, for the neck to ride on. It's even got uh, some padding in here, which is really unusual. 
And uh, I remember cleaning this case up. It was quite dirty when I got it, and we cleaned it up a lot. And uh, it's just really, really a nice case uh, that I am just really happy to have with that guitar because, I mean, if it didn't come with this case, I wouldn't be sure what case came with it. So check it out. We've got a really neat 1955 Harmony H88 uh, Stratotone doublet for you in black with the really cool Hershey bar pickups with the extra blade on them. I mean, those are really, really hot pickups. Check it and all of our cool guitars out at www.lawmanguitars.com. And hey, if you enjoyed watching our video today, why don't you hit subscribe? It's just below the video there on your YouTube uh, channel. And uh, when you do that, you will see our demos pop into your inbox every month. We do five of these every month, and we enjoy doing them for you because you tell us you like watching them. So thanks a lot for watching our demos, and check us out at www.lawmanguitars.com. Thanks a lot.